。我十九岁就想明白了，我这一辈子到底要干嘛，要怎么活。He left home and ventured into the world at the age of 19. Today, people call him King of Steamed Buns. He hopes his company can match KFC and McDonald's someday. However, his life stream is to devote himself to education. The city is not suited to my dream. I just went out without hesitation. I just did it. He was the first child in his village to go to college. He was a senior reporter with a famous periodical. However, he has chosen to come back to this backward volcanic village. His dream is to build a new, charming hometown. Some people move from the countryside to the city, while others come back to their village from the city. They all go forward with determination in their own way. Millions upon millions of Chinese farmers are among them. They perform extraordinary feats in different ways with diligence and wisdom. The metropolis is still asleep at 3 a.m. Miss Zhang and her colleagues have started another busy day: unloading, preheating equipment, steaming buns, heating soybean milk, boiling tea eggs, making pancakes. Two hours later, the first customer arrives. At the same time, more than 900 Barbie Manto restaurants are welcoming their customers. At 6:30, Liu Huiping comes here. With two buns and a cup of soybean milk, he stands at the door and watches the customers' reactions. This is the habit he's been cultivating for many years. As the helmsman of Barbie Manto, many small issues have come to light in this way. This In a few more days, the small shop's business will be suspended for redecoration. Liu Huiping attaches great importance to the refurbishment because it concerns the future of Barbie Manto, even Liu Huiping's destiny. At this moment, 39-year-old Liu Huiping has experienced the biggest change of his life. Low-end, homogenous competition and limited business opportunities have forced Liu Huiping to make up his mind to bid farewell to the traditional business modes and make a big change. The first step is to offer various kinds of fancy pastries rather than just the single manto. Liu Huiping hopes he can open another door for his Manto Empire. As the first experimental site is transformed from Barbie Manto to Barbie Pastries, the shop in Songjiang is perhaps the key for Liu Huiping to open another door. At the age of 19, Liu left his hometown to start his adventure. At the age of 21, he came to Shanghai to set up his own business with just 4,000 yuan. 20 years has now passed, but Liu still retains the strong accent of his hometown. Shanghai is a metropolis with a distinguished and exotic culture. It did not hinder this young man from the countryside in his bid to become an outstanding leader in the industry. 
and a respected and envied billionaire. In Shanghai, Liu still belongs to the so-called external population. In this city, nearly 10 million people like Liu belong to the external population, which accounts for 40% of the total population of this city. They live and work in the once unfamiliar city and support the high-speed growth of this oriental metropolis. In today's China, more than 56% of the population live and work in cities. In fact, Liu's success epitomizes the urbanization process taking place in China. When large numbers of people from the rural population move to the cities with the intention of improving their lives, they discover many opportunities to change their destiny. In 18 years, a four square meter shop with a kneading board, a few food steamers and three or four employees has developed into a group employing more than 10,000 people and 1,800 shops with annual sales in excess of 1.7 billion yuan. Bar B Manto is now widely recognized in China and has become one of the most famous local breakfast brands in the market. In the past, no one would have believed that someone could become a billionaire by selling buns. They would have thought the idea was ridiculous. However, Yu Huiping made it happen through these hard years of toil. While Liu Huiping is ambitious for his business, Chen Tongkui, a graduate from Shanghai, chooses to leave this oriental metropolis and return to his hometown of Hainan, which is 2,000 kilometers away. Even if the village is just 20 kilometers away from Haikou city, the rich character of the countryside is obvious. At 6 o'clock in the morning, the country road is wreathed in mist like a fairyland. Boshue village is located in Haiko's Crater National Geological Park. The road is covered with volcanic rocks, the result of a paroxysmal eruption 10,000 years ago. Therefore, Boshue village is known as Volcanic Village. Because of the volcanic landforms and natural mountain environment, a particular type of pheasant is bred here. It's called the Crater Rooster. Wu Du Sun is 35 years old and is the owner of the chicken house. Chen Tong Kui was his primary school classmate. Unlike the famous Wen Chang chicken of Hainan, the crater rooster is much more rare. With a wild nature, crater roosters like eating the wild grass and insects in this volcanic land. Therefore, they should be kept outside. The vast volcanic wetlands and diversified vegetation are their natural home. Wu said once he saw a crater rooster fly almost one kilometer. At night, the adult pheasants prefer to sleep in the trees. Because its flesh is compact, delicate and delicious and retains a certain wild taste, the crater rooster is very famous in the surrounding villages. Wu has a dream, that is to take the crater rooster out of Hainan and popularize it around China, like the Wenchang chicken. Chen Tong Kui gives him hope. Chen thinks that the crater rooster has distinctive characteristics with many selling points. 
His team will run the business in the most modern way. It has the possibility of becoming very successful. Six months ago, he successfully mastered the technique of selling volcanic village lychees around China. It's a famous local speciality in his hometown. Chen discusses it with Wu. They only choose chickens which are seven months old, with the most tender meat, and use vacuum packing and freezer car technology. Therefore, these products can be sold directly in Shanghai. Chen makes up his mind to start his own business as soon as possible. Introducing the hometown specialities across the country is of great importance to Chen in his plan to re-engineer his hometown. The steamed stuffed buns are called manto in Shanghai. Filled with different stuffing, they are called vegetable manto or meat manto. The buns without stuffing are called white manto. In Shanghai, just about every other street has a barbie manto restaurant like this. Buns and soybean milk are the typical breakfast enjoyed by young and old Shanghai people alike, just as in previous generations. An important aspect of this transformation is the transfer of stock rights. Even if the employees had already heard the news on the grapevine, many of them were still shocked when they heard that their boss announced the plan to share his company's billions with them. However, after deep consideration, Liu Huiping had an ace up his sleeve. At the weekend, Liu's two sons go to their football class. Liu Huiping gets up early and makes breakfast for his family. Cooking is Liu's favorite pastime. <laughs> Although Liu Huiping has the means, he hasn't bought a home in Shanghai. He and his family still live in rented accommodation. According to his shareholding reform plan, the bulk of the stock rights he holds will be transferred to his employees. That means his children will not one day own the company he has established. Chen has another big issue to handle after he returns to his hometown. There is an arch made of Vesuvianite at the entrance to Bo Shui village. For more than a hundred years, people have gathered together here to discuss important things. This is a place which bears the memory of each person and is a spiritual repository. Chen remembers the days when he and his companions often played here when they were children. He also remembers the time 15 years ago when he left Volcanic Village and saw the outside world for the first time. After a century of wind and rain, the arch has become dilapidated and is on the verge of collapse. It must be rebuilt as a matter of great urgency. 
As the chairman of the Eco Village Development Council, Chen proposes that the new art should retain its original style and Vesuvianite should still be used as the building material. They restore the old in the style of the old. The restoration costs are shared equally by every villager. His proposal is approved by most of the villagers. However, some people say the project is good, but the cost of restoration is too high. Compared with modern tiles and cement, lava rock will cost an extra 50,000 or 60,000 yuan. It's a question of whether the village committee can pass the project. Building a rich, ancient village with original ecology is the ideal plan for the re-engineering hometown project. The idea came to him in an interview he gave in Taiwan a few years ago. Tai 它是一个紫教堂What he saw in Taomi village had a major impact on Chen Tongkui. While he was there, Chen Tongkui saw the shadow of his hometown. As a journalist, Chen thought that maybe he could do something for his hometown. Returned graduate is a new phrase in China with connotations of success and the homeland. Inadvertently, Chen Tongkui became the fashion leader who first promoted the idea. However, the actual road home is long and arduous. Chen's passion receives a cold reception. Chen has been blessed with persistence since he was a child. His status as a graduate and famous journalist brought him much support. When Chen built the first water tower using his own resources and initiative and the skills he'd accumulated in his journalistic career, his prestige reached a zenith among the villagers. With the villagers' respect and support, Chen Tongkui's re-engineering the hometown project goes much more smoothly. To establish agricultural products cooperatives and promote ancient methods of planting lychees and ginger. To set up the brand of Volcanic Village and promote lychees, ginger, honey, black soya beans, red rice and so on.
，我更看重的是精神财富。Even though it only takes five hours to reach his hometown from Shanghai, Liu Huiping rarely comes back, only during the Spring Festival or when there are other matters that he needs to handle in person. His hometown is getting nearer and nearer. Now, thoughts of his hometown console his heart. 生活在农村里面，像我们这个这个年代的，应该是童年的乐趣非常多。就是即使家乡的风景没有外面很多地地方的风景美，但是就是觉得它的好，没没辙。Covered in mist, this small town in southern Anhui Province looks very pure and fresh. This is a very ordinary mountain town. It is full of shallow hills, susceptible to droughts and floods, densely populated, and is home to many poor people. This simple description accurately describes the old Jiangjian. Today, Jiangjian is famous for the steamed bun business, which originated in this mountain town. The population of Jiangjian is just 38,000. However, 20,000 people work in the steamed stuffed bun business. Annual sales are above 4 billion yuan. Its successful kneading board economy has turned Jiangjian into one of the strongest economies in Anhui Province. Although Liu comes back to his hometown for business, he still chooses to visit his parents first. Cooking is the best way this billionaire knows to honor his parents. Now, twenty years has passed, and Liu Huiping has never told his mother the true reason he stopped his schooling. 然后读初中的时候交的钱还不少，几十块钱，但是几十块钱好像这个不少的，最后去卖粮食来换钱。然后妈妈就天天都是早上就是我还没起来，她已经到田地里走。晚上我们晚上的吃饭，我的印象当中都是八九点吃饭，所以养成我现在我我的吃饭时间都是七八点。我说这样呢，太辛苦了，我不读书，就学读去创业去。当然还好，现在没给没令她失望，没令她失望。你是谁呀？He's back in Jiangzhen to discuss the restoration of Jiangzhen Junior High School. Today, the building team from Shanghai has presented a new reconstruction plan. Liu Huiping had planned to donate at least 15 million yuan to his old school. Headmaster Zhang Guihong still remembers his student Liu Huiping arriving in 2002. He at that time was holding the first gold medal. He was holding our school. For our school, the poor family students didn't have a job. They didn't have a job. They didn't have a job. Look at this. 这上面都不少的信，学生写的信，这是一位高中生写的。我读下啊，敬爱的柳叔叔你好，我是高二三班的一名学生。当我提起手中的笔时，内心感慨万千，不知道用什么语言才能表达出我内心的感激之情。我绝不辜负你对我的希望，我会更加努力做好自己本职工作来报答你。当我功成名就时，我会像柳叔叔一样，将善良的种子撒向。
Zhang later revealed that the total value of his assets at that time was 300,000 yuan. Zhang also never thought that Liu, the poor and emaciated boy he knew 20 years ago, had a hidden university dream. The method to resolve that survival problem was at hand. At that time, learning how to make steamed buns was the only survival method possible for dropouts in this town. Eating When he stands on the mountainside, Liu knows that 600 kilometers away, the signboard of Ba Bi Manto on North Xilin Road in Songjiang is being taken off. Hua Li's home is the first homestay in the true meaning of the phrase on Hainan Island. The owner of this homestay is Chen Tongkui's brother, Chen Tonghua, and Kua's fiance. Four years ago, when Chen Tonghua graduated in psychology in Beijing, he came back to his hometown as a returned graduate with the encouragement of his brother. The design inspiration of Hua Li's home comes from Taomi village in Taiwan. Building an eco-tourism village has long been Chen Tong Kwai's dream. However, it is difficult to raise funds from the villagers, as they won't see any profit in the short term. Chen Tong Kwai has to accept this reality. But he thinks that if a thing is right, just do it. He knows he must play a leading role. Chen used all his savings to make Hua Li's home a reality. Today, there's a tense atmosphere in the homestay. The state of Aqua's marriage worries his father. Because of the cost of constructing the homestay, there's no money left for Aqua's wedding. <laughs> His family members often complain, but they are actually Chen Tongkwai's most important supporters. All the furniture made of lychee wood in the homestay was made by Chen Tongkwai's father, piece by piece. To their delight, the Hua Li home is now becoming much better known. More and more guests are arriving each day. Mm -hmm. 
，那我们作为可能先走在前面的这些，我们所积累的经验，都可以毫无保留的跟大家分享，因为只有大家做起来，我们回来，才是有意义的。At seven o'clock, a group of villagers gathers at the old arch at the entrance to the village. There are over three hundred villagers, and each family has sent a representative here. Chen Tongkui still feels a little worried. Restore the old as the old sounds good, but every family needs to offer a few hundred yuan more. It worries Chen that his project might be blocked. There will be no result if they all talk at once. Finally, a preparation committee is voted into being. It is the preparation committee which will decide on the future direction of the construction project. Chen Tongkui is satisfied with the result of the vote. Most of the committee members on the list are his loyal supporters. Chen Tongkui decides to offer one more dish to his guests at today's dinner. Instead of chicken, they have the crater rooster brought by Wu Duo Sun. There's dried lychee harvested from the lychee tree. Crater rooster soup with dried lychee in the pot is the most authentic dish in the volcanic village. The guests' praise increases Chen Tongkui's confidence in promoting the crater rooster. It's late at night, and Chen has to make a call to Shanghai. He tells his team he will come back to Shanghai. The Spring Festival is coming, and 30 product lines are running at full speed. There are 600 employees working in a busy and orderly manner. Every day, this place consumes over 20 tons of pork and 20 tons of vegetables. 700,000 buns and 55 tons of semi-manufactured fillings are produced here each day. Today, the health manto will undergo its twentieth trial. Liu Huiping is satisfied with the result of the trial. The health bun will be taken to the production line and experience the challenges of the market. For a new product, 20 trials are not very much. 18 years ago, in his first manto shop in Shanghai, in order to cater for the taste of Shanghai citizens, he tasted all kinds of buns sold at the town god's temple and undertook hundreds of trials. Actually, when I came to Shanghai, I was very hurt. I was the first one to open. I was crying and crying. 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 The phrase "give up" does not exist in Liu Huiping's dictionary. In 2001, Liu Huiping tried again for the third time, and this time he succeeded. The master Liu's bun shop on Nanking Road brought him financial and business success for the first time. With 300,000 yuan in the bank, Liu was so excited and set himself a new goal. Really, I'm not satisfied. I think that McDonald's Big Mac. 卖个汉堡加可乐能卖卖遍全球，我们的中国包子馒头不比他们差
Reform is just a method. Liu's real purpose is to build Barbi Manto into an enterprise with a history rich in culture and responsibilities. Several years ago, Liu purchased this 80,000 square kilometer field, which is twice the size of today's central factory. In the near future, this place will herald in the dawn of his super bun empire. Crater rooster, dried lychee, ginger from the volcanic village, swamp cabbage from the cold volcanic spring are all transported to Shanghai. Chen Tongkui brought the volcanic rock here himself two days ago. This is an exhibition with the theme of tasting chicken soup with dried lychee. These five guests are here thanks to the invitation campaign organized by Chen Tongkui and his Shanghai team through WeChat. They will do a live broadcast to the exhibition by cell phone. Network communication makes it easier to make contact with strangers. The free trial makes the atmosphere easy and happy. The chicken soup with dried lychee in a steaming pot, fashionably cooked by the chef, takes this home banquet atmosphere to its climax. <laughs> the guest's praise convinces Chen Tong Kui that this is a good way to promote his business. Other specialities from the volcanic village should also be exhibited here. But there was one thing Chen Tong Kui neglected. When he announced the 188 yuan online price for this chicken soup, the guests didn't show too much enthusiasm. The most important thing for him to do is to open the door to the market. Chen faces pressures of capital, costs and cooperation. There is never enough time for him. Chen Tongkui hopes he can sell 10,000 bags of chicken soup before the Spring Festival. Only if this goal is realized can his team survive in Shanghai. Chen Tongkui has decided to market the product to a high-end consumer base. The partners he chooses are competent e-business owners in the fresh food trade. The two young teams are unanimous when it comes to concepts and operational principles. The atmosphere is very harmonious. But to Chen Tongkui's surprise, the sides couldn't reach agreement when they discussed issues like costs and investment. He also didn't predict that the following negotiations would bring the same results. In terms of sales, after partnering with more than 40 e-commerce platforms, he received very few orders due to product positioning, price setting and market environment alterations. Since the rent is low, Chen Tongkui and his team live and work in this villa, located in a warehouse on the outskirts. Days of going out and about, long delays and increased pressure make Chen Tongkui feel deeply anxious. The team members who used to get along with each other have also lost their patience. Uh. 
处的问题，我发现你对这方面根本就没有重视。那你要跟我说，我就上架。说这三个，哪天时间必须上架完，他不睡觉也要做。你知道清洁为了把你的数据做完。The spring festival is very near, while the sale of pheasants is standing still. Then Chen Tongkui receives another piece of bad news. One angel funder who may invest decides to extend the period of testing. Reluctantly, Chen Tongkui makes a tough decision. He decides to ship almost 10,000 packs of chicken soup with dried lychee back to Hainan. His team also retreats from Shanghai temporarily. Two members even choose to leave the team. His dream has been crushed by cruel reality. Sometimes I think that when we decide to do this thing, we have to accept it. 这个过程的这些艰辛，这些辛苦，就我蛮能理解他的，觉得他背负的责任挺大的。他既然已经迈出来了，他再往后退，我觉得他更难，他只能再往前走。其实呢，呃，我现在想起来，虽然我们说没有赚到钱，但是我们赚到一样东西，就是被别人的尊重。向死而生，他一直就说，创业就是一个向死而生的过程。你可能走走走，觉得没路了，你再往前走就有路了。The first restaurant owned by Barbie Pastry opens for business today. After a year of reform, it's finally bearing its first fruit. 二对方就可以了。好的，您要一个丝瓣肉包，一个传统豆浆吗？我们这个是传统的门店，这个结合互联网传统服务业的这个互联网加。我们这个这次变革的目的就是想让消费者啊，觉得你的这个品牌确实是提升的。Although Liu expected his success, he is still a little excited. Liu knows that Barbie pastry is just a little sapling, but he believes the sapling will grow into a big tree. The day will come when people will see luxuriant foliage. With his bags packed, Chen Tong Kui once again leaves for his hometown. This time he takes his favorite bag, which is a souvenir he brought from Taomi village in Taiwan. Okay, 但梦想不也能打败现实吗？我们回到海南这个阳光灿烂的小城市、小农村，呼吸的好的空气，我觉得这是一种生活品质的追求。那我们回来不丢脸。Start with nothing. Reverse your fortune. Try again. Four years ago, Chen Tongkui wrote this sentence on his blog. Today, he writes it on the promotion page of the Volcanic Agricultural website. He knows that the lychees in front of him will blossom in two months. The arch made of volcanic rock will be completed. <laughs> 